Hello Art Beaters, Becky here with a new video and I hope you enjoy. If you want to keep up to date on all things Art Beads, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel right now. Enjoy! Toho and Miyuki seed beads. So I'm going to show you uh, some different Toho and Miyuki seed bead shapes and some jewelry designs made with those seed beads from our design studio. So we've got lots of stuff to talk about. So Toho and Miyuki seed beads. I wanted to kind of talk about the different seed bead types from Toho and Miyuki to kind of show you um, all of these different beads. Um, so Toho and Miyuki both make different bead shapes that are really great to use in stringing projects, bead weaving projects, all kinds of projects. And I'll also show you um, some jewelry design inspiration from our design studio so you can see um, how these beads look um, in their different shapes and sizes and um, what you can do with them. So uh, let's start with Toho seed beads. I've got Toho seed beads on this side. So there's all kinds of different shapes. I'm going to start with the Toho treasures. These are cylindrical seed beads and they, are, they come in 11 aught size, size 11 aught. So that sizing, um, the smaller, the higher the number, the smaller the bead. So 11 knot is pretty small. Um, really great bead for brick stitch, peyote stitch, um, looming. They just line up really nicely um, and are great for making those shapes with those kinds of stitches. And we have those in all kinds of beautiful colors. Um, and then if you really love Toho Treasures, you love working with that cylindrical shape, a step up from that would be the Toho Ico Precision Cylinder Seed Bead. So the Toho Ico is a cylinder seed bead much like the Toho Treasure, but these are made with state-of-the-art machinery. So they are so precise, so uniform. They line up like a dream. Uh, they are wonderful to work with. They just um, stitch up so nicely. They feel really good when you stitch them up. Uh, they are just, they, some people call them the perfect, <laughs> the perfect seed bead. So um, if you're looking for more uniformity, more precision in your seed bead designs, Toho Ico is the way to go. These come in four gram packs. Uh, the treasures come in two and a half inch tubes, which is about seven and a half grams. So um, there's, there's a seed bead for everyone here. So those are our cylinder Toho seed beads. And I will show you some examples of using those in just a bit. Uh, Toho also has round seed beads. Varying, uh, Ico's come in 11 aught sizes. Same as the treasures. So Icos and treasures only come in 11 aught. Um, then we have the round seed beads from Toho, which come in various sizes. This is the largest size. This is a three aught round seed bead. Um, nice and big, really great for maybe friendship bracelets, uh, macrame, uh, stringing. They make great spacers. Um, this is the six aught size. Um, so nice, again, nice big seed bead there, easy to work with, really great for memory wire. Um, we have eight aught here. These are all the round seed bead sizes from Toho. Uh, so that's a nice uh, versatile size that you can use in stringing, uh, bead weaving. It works in a lot of different designs. And then the 11 aught. So the 11 aught round is going to be a little bit bigger than those 11 aught uh, treasures and icos but um similar in size but the round shape is going to make it just a little bit bigger so uh really nice uh for bead weaving there as well nice for fringe earrings too 11 aught rounds are great for fringe um toho also makes bugle beads which are these long cylindrical let me see if i can catch one on my needle here uh, long cylindrical tube-like uh, seed beads, and those come in various lengths, so you can make um, all kinds of different looks in your uh, seed beading. Bead embroidery, they're great for bead embroidery, embroidery. again, great for fringe. Um, and then there's other shapes from Toho. We have the cubes, so these are uh, cube-shaped seed beads. Those come in a couple different sizes. The Toho Demi Rounds. Um, the Demi Rounds are really cool. These make great spacers as well. So they are round like the seed beads, but they are half of the of the width of the seed bead. So they look like little seed beads cut in half. <laughs> 
if such a thing is possible. And they make really great spacers. They're just great for adding more texture, more detail to your stringing and bead weaving projects. Um, Cynthia loves using these for spacers and these come in a few different sizes. 8 aught, 11 aught, and 6 aught, I believe. Yeah, the, the bugles do kind of look like liquid silver. And then Toho also has um, some hex beads, six-sided hexagonal seed beads. Those come in um, a variety of sizes as well. So all kinds of different uh, seed bead shapes for you to choose from. And then on the Miyuki side, we have um, some shapes as well. Miyuki has uh, cylinder seed beads as well. They're called um, Delicas. Miyuki Delicas are super popular. Probably the most popular size is 11 aught. So these are very similar to Toho Treasures. Um, I use Miyuki Delicas and Toho Treasures together all the time. It gives me more color options. Uh, the differences are so slight, uh, you won't notice them in your beadwork. So I do mix them together uh, just because it gives me more color options when I'm uh, brick stitching, which is my favorite uh, seed bead technique. Uh, so probably the most popular size of Delicas is 11 knot, but these cylinder seed beads do come in different sizes. So you have 15 aught Delicas which are even smaller than 11 aughts. These are very, very small. So if you're making really intricate, tiny little beadwork, um, these 15 aughts are going to come in great handy. And those are delicas. Those are cylinders. They also have those cylinder seed beads in 8 aught, which is a bigger size. Um, so uh, really nice. If you want to do some bigger brick stitch or peyote stitch or loom work, those dot delicas are going to be really great for you. Uh, Miyuki also has um, hexagon shapes as well um, in different sizes, just like the Toho ones. So fun. They also have bugles in various lengths. Um, this one is a twisted bugle, so that's kind of fun. It has kind of a twisted texture on the outside. Let me pick one up to show you. So it's a little bit twisted, that's fun. Um, so that's a Miyuki bugle. Now Miyuki also has half tilas and tila beads, which are square and rectangle shaped tile beads. Uh, they're two whole, so that is a half tila, half, half the size of a full tila. And this is the tila, which is more square shaped. These are gonna be fun for your summer stretch bracelets. Um, I've been seeing that trend a lot. Uh, so, so pretty. We love the tiles and the tealas. So that's a really fun shape to check out if you're wanting to make something a little different. And Miyuki does also have the rounds in 11 aught. This is the 11 aught round. Again, that's going to be a little bit bigger than your 11 aught Delica. And then um, they also have Miyuki 8 aught rounds, even bigger. And then Miyuki 6 aught rounds, even bigger. <laughs> So all kinds of wonderful seed bead uh, styles and shapes to choose from. I do have some jewelry from our design studio to show you uh, what you can make with these beautiful seed beads. Let's take a look at that. Uh, so these are made uh, with the Toho Icos. So this pattern really shows off how precise, how uniform these seed beads are. They line up beautifully. I wish I could like send this to you through video so you could feel how soft and silky it feels, especially when loomed Toho Icos just feel uh, wonderful when they're stitched together. So pretty. Yes, I will not drop the tray or we'll have beads flying everywhere. You have to be very careful when you have trays full of seed beads. It, it could be a mess uh, real fast. So always, always got to be careful with that. <laughs> um, so this is such a beautiful piece and you can see just how uniform those Toho Ico seed beads are. Uh, Toho treasures were used for these little birdies. Um, this is the brick stitch technique. So treasures, Ico's delicate are great for brick stitch because they line up so cute, so sweet, so nicely. Um, make cute little shapes. You can make any kind of design your heart desires with uh, the Toho Treasures and the Delicas. Um, and don't forget that we have wonderful seed bead graph paper um, that you can color in with your own designs. 
Um, and you can, we have that for different stitches like brick stitch and peyote stitch, loom, square stitch, um, and we also have it for different bead shapes like the cylinders and the rounds. So don't forget to check out our seed bead graph paper. It is wonderful for making your own fun uh, patterns. Uh, so these little birds uh, were made with that graph paper and then stitched up with Toho treasures. Um, these are some Toho rounds. So you can see kind of how um, these are ADOT and you can see how that different shape and size really changes the look of a piece. This is another loomed piece. Um, really fun. It's kind of a little more uh, organic, a little more uh, whimsical, I would say, with those ADOT rounds. <laughs> um, and then these are 6 ot beads that are just um, added to eye pins and head pins to make some fun fringe. Uh, really nice. And then this bracelet incorporates bugle beads in a netted pattern. So you can kind of see how the bugle beads add some length, add some shine, and a little bit of a different texture. There's also some small round seed beads in there and then some bigger round seed beads to make those uh, ends. So really all kinds of different things you can do with seed beads. This one is made with Miyuki Delicas, um, and they are uh, made. They made this wonderful wrap bracelet. So the Delicas are added in rows between the two leather strands. So that's a really fun way to use uh, your your Delicas. This is another one made with Delicas. Um, so again, those cylinder beads, Miyuki Delicas, in all kinds of beautiful colors. That's the fun thing with all of these seed beads. We have so many beautiful colors to choose from. So it's really fun to pick your favorite colors and go to town with something like this. Isn't that great? I love that. And then this is a great example of some of the different seed bead shapes. This one incorporates uh, those Miyuki Tila beads, those two whole Tila's. Um, there's some, I think, some hex beads and some cube beads in here. Um, and this is herringbone stitch. I have links to all of these jewelry pieces in the video description. Um, you will find these uh, pieces in our design studio at artbeads.com with full instructions, um, PDF diagrams if necessary, and a supplies list. And then here's another one made with some fun, uh, bigger round seed beads. This is actually a wrap bracelet that you can wrap around your wrist a couple times, but the length actually works for me as a choker too. So um, that's kind of fun. You can wear it in two ways. Really great. So those are some different ways that you can use um, all of our wonderful seed bead shapes from both Miyuki and Toho in your jewelry designs. And I also wanted to mention that we have a wonderful guide to seed bead stitches on our blog. It um, has PDF diagrams, videos, step-by-step uh, -step photo tutorials of all kinds of different uh, seed bead stitches, instructions that we offer on our website. So you're going to find instructions for peyote stitch, even count and odd kit count peyote stitch, brick stitch, herringbone stitch, uh, tubular herringbone, uh, all kinds of different stitches on there. Uh, so make sure to check out that uh, blog post. It's really helpful. All kinds of different PDF diagrams that you can print out and keep handy when you're beading videos if you need more of a visual and step-by-step -step photo and text instructions as well. I have a link to that page in the video description for you as well. Uh, thank you for all your nice comments and for tuning in. Uh, make sure to let us know what else you would like to see um, in the comments. I love hearing your feedback and that's really helpful for us to know what you guys want to see. We want to make sure that this is all helpful to you in your jewelry making journey. Um, and thank you so much. I will see you guys next time. Remember, we go live on Facebook every Thursday. 10 a.m. Pacific time. So I will see you next time. Bye!